Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel uh, for another session of coffee and paper. Uh, today we are going to discuss a very commonly used model called as latent digit allocation or LDA model. You may have heard about it or may ha might have used it also. We are going to discuss its base paper and also use a popular package called ChainSim to implement the same. So diving into the details of LDA, uh, LDA model, it was introduced by Blay and others in 2002 and 2003 respectively. What it basically is, um, uh, it's a modification to uh, latent semantic analysis algorithms where we introduce digit variables to actually control the two vectors. And it's a dimensionality reduction problem um, uh, like PCA where we reduce documents to topics. So. Taking from that, the objective of this paper was basically to come up with a generative model um, for uh, generative model for discrete data, and uh, basically, uh, so uh, let's see, and um, basically uses of this you would have seen in. Um, Mm, uh, topic modeling of course and uh, other than that it's collaborative filtering semantic analysis uh, bioinformatics and some of image analysis algorithms also use uh, LDA as a method uh, there has been a lot of work done around it and uh, now basically you could see work uh, with word to work and LDA combined LDA to work by Chris Moody uh, which I would discuss in some other video. Um, basically what happens is when we see a document, we basically analyze it and we know that it's gonna talk about sports, it's gonna talk about animals, it's gonna talk about movies, it's gonna talk about food, or it's gonna talk about Italian food, and LDS solves this problem for us. And it takes into certain assumptions, uh, as you can see on the screen. Um, but uh, what basically it assumes is that documents with similar topics will use similar group of words. Um, documents are probability distribution of topics and topics are probability distributions of words. Um, so, uh, so what does the model basically looks like? So the model says that uh, probability of the word looks something like this equation which you see over here. Um, what it basically says is theta is a uh, sample from uh, um, a distribution and theta lies in k minus one dimensional space. Now summation of all those theta is equal to one and uh, when you look for the probability of a document represented by these uh, words would be equal to this equation now if you compare it with other models which are used for topic modeling those are basically based on uh, frequency of occurring words but this model actually works on uh, distribution of words over documents uh, so that's how LDA is different from uh, bag of words and other models that are used for topic modeling um, to represent uh, LDA is there's a famous notation which is this graphical model representation or plate notation. So if you see the outer plate represents the documents and um, the inner plate represents uh, the words and the topics. So if you see theta is the topic distribution for the document and Z is the notation for each topic over the words. Um, and uh, uh, so how does basically, what is the basic algorithm? How does LDA actually talks about it? So if you would have seen in the previous slide, I talked about the, when I talked about the model, it basically talks about is uh, probability of document. So why are we talking about probability of document when we want to find out the topics? So LDA basically talks about is, uh, LDA says that, okay, First, go and determine the number of words in the document. Second, determine the mixture of topics in that document. And third, uh, come up with the 
using each topic's multinomial distribution output words to fill the document's word slot and helps build the document. So what LDA does is now goes and backtracks and tries to figure out what topics would be chosen if what topics would create this document basically and that's how it tries to fit the problem so LDA takes in the document and then comes up with the process however the whole thing goes the other way um, how does it basically happens uh, how does this backtracking basically happens is um, uh, we start with uh, we first pick a topic based on multinomial distribution of document and then word based on distribution of documents and randomly assign each word in each document to one of the K topics and for each document we will find out how many words in document D are associated with the topic and how many uh, topics are associated with the word and based on that we will assign each new word a topic um, that's how basically an LDA works in implementation wise we would see more in details when I walk you through the Jensen example uh, going into the mathematical part of this uh, I'm not gonna deep dive into mathematics of this equi uh, of LDA right now because I think I will do a video on latent semantic analysis too and I will compare both of them over there but for now actually I'm gonna just talk about how do we basically so we had an equation which we saw probability of document before now we introduce uh, we expand that um, equation and that equation turns into this uh, enormous equation which looks very scary and it is a scary equation because it's impossible to calculate this uh, uh, this equation so what we do is basically uh, do an approximation of that and uh, represent this in in this terms and then use an EM algorithm to actually estimate or infer the parameters alpha and beta um, so that's it for the research paper discussion and now we're gonna go and walk through a Jensen implementation of the same algorithm so basically uh, I'm gonna use a uh, package uh, which is called a Gensim for topic modeling. Uh, it has got a LDA algorithm, it has also got a latent semantic analysis algorithm. If you're looking to explore, there are plenty of other algorithms implemented over here, but uh, that's what I do. I also took my implementation as a direct ripoff from uh, Jordan Barber's uh, blog post. It's a really good blog post and it talks about how to go through each step, step by step. Uh, I'm gonna walk through the code um, uh, based on my code is inspired from his code so feel free to actually go and check out his website I will paste the link below um, so what we basically do is we have got different documents and now we want to know uh, uh, now we want to know how we actually can infer topics from these documents so what we go through is first pre-process all the documents and then we feed it to our uh, Gensim LDA model which is already trained model now once we feed it to our model and we run it through uh, and try to print the topics on it we get two comma separated values which are basically our two topics we get two topics because we looked we are looking for two topics and we see um, it as a bunch of words uh, so each topic if you remember from paper discussion is represented over words and it tells you its representation of these words and the second topic is representation of this word so what does LE actually empowers you is to actually find similarity in documents uh, using topics without even assigning any labels to the topic so that's where LDA becomes very powerful Thanks again people for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe if you find them useful. If you don't then please leave comments. Uh, if Please uh, mention some feedback over email or just leave in comments before uh, anything, uh, anything that I could do to improve. 
uh, my presentations uh, I'll be stepping out in future uh, from these papers and doing a bunch of videos on different kind of models and uh, tensorflow videos I just don't know how to present them uniquely from others and that's where I've been thinking of that uh, doing it like the same way the other people do on YouTube I, I don't want to do that so if you have any ideas around that please feel to leave uh, that also in the comment section below thanks again and have a good day